components of uh, that vector r vector so i can say we are simply left with the result of that is dr upon dt which is equal to that is dx upon dt i cap plus dy upon dt j cap plus dz upon dt k cap so so similarly wh what does this result say is that that any vector uh, and if you want to represent the derivative of a vector so it is nothing but uh, is the derivative of it relate of derivative of its component with respect to time or you can say on on the vector where it depends right so here in this equation it depends on the time so it is similarly it is just an abstraction that we can say that it is a derivative of a components okay so this was just the big uh, basic of the things which uh, needed to be understand and there is another thing which um, uh, which we can write as in a remark or we uh, you can say that which is an important result or you can say uh, you can note on that thing right so if i say that for example the force vector if f vector t which depends on the scalar variable t has a has a constant magnitude has a constant m magnitude then this f vector and derivative of that very vector and their dot product is zero so this is also one of the very important result and you guys need to understand and you guys need to keep this in your head that wherever you solve numericals you need to we can we can also prove this result um, uh, we can also prove this result using our vector principle but since uh, due to the limitations of the time so we will just uh, understand that this is the result and we need we need to just know that this is this is what happens that uh, if any vector if you take the vector and their the derivative dot product that is always zero okay this is remark one or uh, and there is a remark two again there is another remark two which is a very again important result in this chapter and that says that if a vector t has a constant direction has a constant has a constant direction so then their cross product of the vector and their derivative is zero right okay so this is the beautiful result that we have derived that when any vector has a constant magnitude uh, so if you take the dot product of that vector and their derivative that is equal to zero and if you take uh, that vector as a constant direction if you suppose that that vector has a constant direction then their dot product between the vector and the derivative is always zero so this is these are the two important results which uh, while solving it we we always need to understand and we always need to keep in the mind okay so this is and now since i said you just before uh, uh, that dr upon uh, dr upon dt uh, is a velocity right okay so what is uh, we can interpret geometrically anything so uh, wherever you can apply your mind or wherever you are interested and you can develop your own a uh, notion of understanding few things so i said this is a velocity so i said this is a velocity and since uh, if i say that we can interpret this uh, velocity that is geometrical interpretation interpretation of dr upon dt and here we will see a very important results uh, what is the geometrical interpretation of this uh, so just understand this is uh, this is three axis this is this is y this is x and this is z okay so understand that there is a curve and we are understanding that here is a point p whose position vector is attached to the origins and so I according to if you see uh, that uh, that this curve is get traced which depends on the time right so i can say that uh, this position vector in the difference of the time they give this geometrical figure that is this geometrical figure they give this geometrical figure and so you can say that 
depending on the time they trace us in this way or you can say they make this kind of figure okay so and why we call it is a geometrical interpretation let me tell you so so i can say this uh, uh like so i i can just say that this is an origin so let uh, o be the origin and i'm keeping it as in a point of reference right and it is and it is point of reference okay so this p vector uh, this p vector be given by this equation uh, and that is r vector which is a function of this time uh, that is time is a scalar quantity so you can see as t varies continuously the curve gets this shape right so that's a vector uh, a vector this vector which i am saying this is a vector t is nothing but uh, is a representation of this curve only and uh, where this r vector is again represented in its components that is xi cap plus i just we saw before right so this is z k cap okay so if i say uh that or if i take an example on that an equation like this r vector which is at square i cap plus 2 at j cap so i'm just thinking of a two dimensional right now so this two dimensional represents what this two dimensional represents nothing but this is represents a parabola and you can represent this parabola by the equation that is y square equal to 4 ax in the xy plane because we have a parametric equation where x is equal to 80 square and where y is equal to 280 right so ultimately if we represent this uh, position vector in the xy plane so it it gives an interpretation of a parabola okay so you know the shape of a parabola and uh, there is an again a uh, second interpretation that is called the vector equation if if you write uh, this vector equation in the trigonometric uh, uh, or you can say the component of the trigonometric format when since you have studied in this class 11 12 that when there is a force then it has a two component that is uh, Uh, f cos theta and f sin theta right so similarly if i am writing an equation uh, the vector equation the vector equation so the vector equation which is this is r vector which is equal to a cos t i cap plus b sin t j cap right so this this is nothing but this uh, represents what this represents an ellipse right this represents an ellipse which is i can say and you since the very famous equation of the ellipse you know that x square plus y square plus b square is equal to 1 in again we are talking in the xy plane because uh is parametric equation if you see th this is an x and this is the value of y so i can say this is a parametric uh, equations and this is what represented so if i draw, draw another diagram for example uh, this is again a curve and if i say uh, said uh, this is a point p and if i draw any tangent to this point p okay so i can say according to the frame of reference or the origin of the reference this is o this is r vector and this is with the increase in the time or when the time differences becomes uh, stronger or larger and larger so this will be represented by this r vector plus delta r vector right so there is a small increment in the position vector according to time so i can say this uh, is represented by a line which is or you can say i can say this is a q right so this becomes a uh, since this is an arc so we we need to shape uh, we need to shape this uh, into the triangle format so i'm just uh, supposing there is another point that is called q on the curve um, at which uh, th there is an increment of uh, delta r in the position vector of r right so i can say this is uh, another this is i can say this is a pq vector which is and uh, can be represented according to the origin of reference that is oq vector minus op vector so since you know this is oq right 
OQ can be represented by this is R vector plus delta R vector minus OP vector can be represented by simply R vector, right? Okay, so this is what? This is nothing but that is a influence symbol vector which is R vector or you can say that we ultimately we get the increment that happen in the position vector of R. So, if you take the derivative of this uh, increment vector along with uh, increment in the time that happen, so this is nothing but this is a directed line. So, I can say this is a, a directed line. So, I can say this is a directed line along the code, along the code PQ, right? So, this is a directed line along the code PQ. So, you can uh, make a directed line mm, which is which is going straight away to this PQ and that is the directed line and this is what is the geometrical interpretation of uh, uh, this uh, position vector R with respect to time. But imagine if this uh, Q tends to P, imagine this if this Q tends to P, so ultimately this uh, if this uh, q tends tends to p is ultimately this line will coincide this line will coincide to this line and ultimately this uh, and this will happen only when there is a no difference of time or you can say that uh, delta t tends to zero right so in that situation what happens is that if you uh, apply the limit concept that is delta t tends to zero delta t which is equal to dr vector upon dt right and this is what and this is a vector so i can say this is a vector along and this is this is a this is a vector and this is a vector along the tangent right and that tangent is what and you can see here is the tangent along the p so this is a vector along the tangent at the point p at the point p to the curve okay so here we finish this uh, with the geometrical interpretation of that chapter as well so i wanted to tell you what is uh, the problems uh, i have brought few problems set uh, for you since we have talked about the basic things so we need to talk about the problems as well so let us talk about the problems uh, that how can we solve few basic problems uh, of uh, vectors so let me talk about that so i'm giving an example I i'm giving a question find the Okay, so I'm giving an example. Find the unit tangent vector at any point on the curve that is represented by the equation t square plus 2 and this is y is equal to 40 minus 5 and z equal to 2t square minus 60 where t is any variable and where t is any variable here t is not a constant right where t is any any variable this is a question also um, if I if I add in this question also determine the unit tangent also determine the unit tangent vector unit tangent vector at the point t is equal to 
2. So the question says that find the unit tangent vector at any point on the curve. So you have been given the equation where t is any variable also determine the unit tangent vector at the point. So how to deal with this question? So probably what I have seen from my experience that many of the students even can't solve this simple question because they get confused in the words and they don't understand what the question is exactly saying. So just now I told you that mm, the term that is dr vector upon dt is along the tangent at the point p in the last section I told you. So I'm just supposing this this is uh, the this vector is along the tangent. This is along the tangent at the point at the point x y z to the given curve to the given curve okay so this is just a basic interpretation i would like to mm, relate with the past results that we just obtained so similarly so you can represent uh, this uh, dr upon dt is nothing but this is what so obviously this is derivative with respect to t and since i told you in the beginning that component gets de uh, uh, differentiated with respect whether it is uh, x y z these all are components and since we saw the results that when we derivate any uh, vector then its component get derivated or if r is represented by the function that is x i i plus i y z plus z k right okay so similarly from here you can see the derivative of dx with respect to t will be what this will be 2 t and that's 2 is a constant so that will become 0 and this is 2 t i cap plus dy upon dt as I had said you in the last mm, page and uh, last to last page so this is 4 z cap again minus 5 is a constant so that becomes 0 plus this is 4 t k cap right 4 sorry this is 4 t minus 6 k cap all right so this is what our d dr by d vector and since since we need to find unit vectors and that unit vector since you know um, the very basic formula if, if a is a any vector and if you want to find a unit vector along this vector along this a vector so the, the formula is what this is a vector can be represented by this um, modulus of a vector that is a magnitude and this is a cap or similarly you can write this is unit vector is nothing but that is the vector divided by its magnitude okay so similarly here we have uh, this is so we can find the magnitude of this vector which which is a directed uh, tangent or which is directed line along the tangent so i can say this will be nothing but uh, from here if you see this is uh, 2t square and sorry and this is 